Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to re-wick this old Storm King petrol lighter. I don't think I've ever done a video on this lighter alone. It has appeared in a video or two in comparison with some other park lighters. So we're going to go ahead and remove the flint spring screw and spring and get our flint out of there. Now this insert is marked Park Sherman and also Storm King. Has the old tube style pad on the bottom. I was wanting to use the lighter as it was just to see because all things being equal I would just as soon not pull the old wadding and wick and everything out of there if it'll work but it just doesn't seem to me that it's carrying fuel up there quite like it should and it certainly is not igniting as reliably as I would like it to. So we're going to go ahead and remove this wadding. And I plan most likely just to reuse it. Assuming it will come out. Yeah, well, may it all come out in one piece. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, that is outstanding. And that'll make it fairly easy to feed back in there, too. Wasn't much of a wick. Now I'm going to re-wick this with the copper braided wick on advice of my friend Giovanni Abasia and we'll see if uh, we get better ignition with this copper braided wick if it conducts heat better or what maybe we can confirm that's the case so we got that trimmed down we're just gonna put that right into the chimney hole there and you can see you know what I'm gonna take a minute and clean that out while I'm at it so I'm gonna it's gonna take me a minute to get some alcohol and some swabs to clean that
you can see that's really just soot and dust and just build up over time. So I'm just getting a little alcohol on that Q-tip. Now I'm going to go blow this off real quick. Make sure get the, all that alcohol residue dried out. I don't want to get that on the wick and have it spitting at us. Okay, so now we got that clean. We'll get the wick back down through there. Get it through and hold it there about the height of the chimney. That's where I keep mine. I might flip this over to be able to feed this wadding back in the way I want to. So hopefully we can get some of that to feed up in there with it as it goes. So we got that packed back in there nice and tight. Get our felt tubing back down here along the base. Flint. And flint spring screw. If you enjoy watching videos about repairing old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tabacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any questions or comments below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com
so far so good until next time